Hello everybody, my name is Jonathan Reeves from Jonathan Reeves Architecture and today I'm going to share with you a twin motion and Vectorworks tutorial for a, a project that we're working on at the moment. So first of all I'm going to show you the project in Vectorworks. You can see here we are being able to cut some sections via the clip cube in Vectorworks um, and here you can see some of the sheets I'm scrolling through just to give you a feel of the kind of presentation style that we use when we're in Vectorworks itself. Um, so at this point I'm exporting the model to Twinmotion. Now the format I normally choose is Cinema 4D. Uh, we can export Cinema 4D files directly from Vectorworks and they go in extremely nicely into Twinmotion in that here we can see the imported model and you can see a lot of the textures um, from Renderworks, have, if you like, Vectorworks have come straight through. So this saves quite a bit of time. Um, you can see that the black shapes I've just deleted, those were the section lines <coughs> that have come through from Vectorworks. So we can easily tidy up the model and delete those. At the moment you can see I'm also deleting some of the um, planes that came through from the, the image props that I'd used in Vectorworks. But other than that, you can see the model uh, from Vectorworks has come through rather nicely. So the first thing I'm going to do is modify and reapply a few of the textures and materials. Um, sometimes when we get to Twin Motion, it's a good idea to reapply them. Um, you maybe get some better textures or some sort of, you know, different variety of ones. And here we can see um, what I'm doing now is adding some really nice three-dimensional twin motion uh, plants. And I'm just going to save the drawing. Um, one of the lovely things about the new version of twin motion is we can now work in orthogonal views like plan. And this is extremely helpful in terms of placing things nice and accurately. That was uh, one of the issues with the previous version and they fixed that very, very straightforwardly. So you can see at the moment, I'm just trying out a few different sort of scales of, of external render. Um, it's quite, quite a, a rough cast render on this particular property. And um, what I'm gonna do now, you can see, is go and sort of um, spice up the landscape a bit more. And again, one of the lovely things with Twinmotion, it's a bit like a 3D Photoshop in that we can essentially paint and spray um, plants and particularly things like grass onto the landscape. Um, you can also delete if you make any mistakes and furthermore you can see that I'm just basically adding a few single bits of uh, grass as well to the model in you know very specific places. So let's do a little bit more work on the um, on the property itself, try and get the textures right. Now you will see um, sometimes if materials look a bit missing like the underside of the roof what you do need to do is turn on uh, double-sided materials, two-sided, and you can see I'm just doing a little bit of that work now just to tidy up some of those what appear to be missing elements. They're not missing, it's just that the material itself is not double-sided. So make sure you turn on the two-sided option. Same in the kitchen here with those units you can see and things like the walls and certainly those areas up on the ceiling look like they need fixing as well. But it really isn't, you know, a big issue. It's quite rapid and we can sort of quite quickly move through and make the space look very very realistic. Now for those of you who are new to Twinmotion essentially it's based on the Unreal Engine uh, which is a, a gaming gaming engine really for developing games but what Advent have done is essentially put Twinmotion a uh, very simple interface over the top of the Unreal Engine and it means that you can really move and manipulate your model in real time which is you know um, only really in the last few years have we been able to do this with the advent of uh, fast graphics cards now you might be wondering what hardware i'm running um, i'm actually running my practice on a pretty much a macbook pro i've got a few imacs as well but what i do do is use an external graphics card with my macbook pro and if you look at some of my earlier videos, you'll see I use a Razer Core X with a Vega 64 graphics card, which is awesome. And it means that when I'm in the office, um, I can plug in my 32 inch screen and I, the Vega 64 graphics card essentially runs all my applications. And certainly for graphics intensive applications like Twinmotion and to some extent Vectorworks, it really, really does run beautifully. And you can get a really nice sort of quality of of lighting you can crank up the the settings to pretty high levels and um, yeah you know it's a great experience when you're actually designing 
and modeling because you, you have a bit of a flow you're not sort of hindered you don't have to wait and re-render and see how it looks and so on okay so let's get back to the tutorial you can see at the moment um, I'm setting up an animation so essentially this is set up with a number of um, should we say stills and frames and what Twinmotion does it will interpolate between those views so this is very common in lots of software um, I spotted an error so you can see what I've done now is I've just popped back into Vectorworks and I've just done a bit of remodeling on the landscape um, to put in the fences and a, a bigger garden so in Vectorworks I've just literally re-exported the model and here we can see I'm now relocating uh, the model from Vectorworks here's those uh, section planes again which I'm just going to delete you can go into the manager if you like and delete them all in one click Okay, so we've now got the new imported model and you can see in the background um, just outside that we've now got the extents of the garden and we've got the, the garden fence and so on. So in a minute we'll do some work out there. Now, just at this stage, I thought it'd be nice to show you how to tweak the lighting. Um, so basically I'm just adding in uh, some really kind of quick sort of spotlights using the Twinmotion modeling tools and the Twinmotion lighting, the IS lighting. And these are really nice to do, they're very rapid. <clears throat> and again, you can see wonderful real-time effects of the lighting. Here I'm adding in um, an Omni light uh, in all directions, just to get a bit more light into the scene as if it was sort of coming through that, that roof light. And that'll kind of brighten things up a bit. Okay, so here we can see we're, we're back outside again. Now the garden's looking a bit sparse at the moment. And for me, one of the really enjoyable things with Twinmotion is not just the ability, as I say, to literally paint and spray the landscape. Just making a few mistakes, so just be careful with the size of your brush. But you can see, essentially, it really is like 3D Photoshop. And basically, it's super fast. You know, you can have quite a few different types of grass. So we've got a rougher grass here for the edges of the garden. And, you know, some nice sort of trim grass. Um, then you can go to the plant section, the bushes, and you can see you literally can just click and drag and drop or place a selection of plants. There's a big library built into Twinmotion, and I know this is something that you know they're always working on, <clears throat> and in the future I'm sure the library will be even larger than it is now. Um, rocks and things like that, extra little bits of props, things like leaves and rocks and branches, those are really, really straightforward to add into um, the scene. So let's just save that up. Um, I always like using um, a few nice sort of plants and things. So you can see I'm just clicking to place a few of those very rapidly. Um, I should add the video speeded up for obvious reasons. Um, it's probably, I think it's speeded up by about three times. So maybe, you know, this is taking um, overall maybe 15, 20 minutes for the entire garden. Here you can see I'm using uh, from the miscellaneous folder some quite nice bits of ivy and uh, other props so suddenly back in the kitchen you know when we look out of that view it now looks like um, more like the real client's garden so that's really really nice and you can see um, basically what we're able to do now is sort of pan round. let's just refine the model okay so we're getting ready we're just adjusting the camera views and one lovely thing the new version has is perspective correction okay so let's pop back outside and let's just tweak our camera views, our images here. And let's get back into creating another clip. So you can see I've clicked Create Clip. And what I'm going to do is move outside. And I'm simply going to click when I'm happy with the viewpoint. Let's do a little bit of tweaking. I'm going to click the Refine or um, Update View button. And you can see I'm just adding a few more frames here. So now when I click Play, um, let's just refine that a tiny bit more. So I click play. You can see it plays through really beautifully, smoothly, pretty much in real time. So when we're ready, we can go to the export dialog. We can select all the images that we would like to export. I've also got a couple of panoramics in here. And finally, I've got the video. So I'm going to select the two clips. And let's go ahead and click export. Um, we can create a folder that we would like these to go into and save them into our project folder. But the real beauty is you'll see that once we click export, it will give us an estimated um, time for exporting all of this media. Um, and it's often, you know, extremely fast. It's one of the beauties of Twinmotion. And you can see that uh, it's just computing how much time it's going to take. 
Okay, so it's estimating around 35 minutes. Often in my view, it's faster than this. And here we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna move over to the final presentation. Um, you can see that here are some of the high quality stills. And you can see we've got some really nice still images here that I'm fading into um, some animations as well. Here's the final quality animation. You can see that I've basically toned down the colors a little bit. We can adjust the hue and saturation of all of these elements as we need to. I'll calm down a bit, let you just quietly watch the rest of the video and we'll come back in a moment. So I really hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's been informative um, about Vectorworks and Twinmotion, how they can work together to create really beautiful images and animations for your projects to show your clients. Please let us know if we can help with any of your projects or any software needs and training on Vectorworks and Twinmotion. We'll be very pleased to help and you can visit our two websites and see what you think. Okay, many thanks and see you in the next video. Bye bye.